on Tesla, uh, neighborhoods are running on it. And it was this quiet little story. Like nobody, this is a kick-ass company that went in and literally is saving this island. Listen, fuck Oprah. We need Elon Musk <laughs> to run what, for president. Yeah. I'm tired of people saying Oprah. The last couple of days have been <laughs> it's hell been for me. Crazy. <laughs> I love Oprah. Don't get me wrong. I think she's a wonderful woman. I think she's a powerful force of good <laughs> and positive energy. But she ain't no Elon. <laughs> but she also brought us Dr. Oz and the secret. We, we, have, we have to remember what this lady has done. <laughs> she has to be held accountable. <laughs> I forgive her, but... I mean, cut the shit. <laughs> the secret is a particularly egregious uh, offense. Why you don't you just? Oh, you don't believe? You don't, you don't believe? Uh, oh, believe? Believe? I, I want to uh, be rich. I, I just am rich. I imagine myself flying. <laughs> I can fly. I will beat my wings until I take off. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, it was one of the more dis. Confu I want to say disturbing, but it was confusing when that was taking hold with people. When I, I, I had friends that were telling me that the secret is real and that they imagined they were going to fulfill these childhood dreams that they had had yeah. about whatever, being a fucking astronaut, whatever, whatever it would be. There's a couple people that I knew that were trying to tell me that the secret was going to be the thing and that they had a vision board and they had photographs, they put pictures up of the things that they wanted. Uh -huh. Like them in front of large crowds and shit. And I'm yeah. like, oh boy. <laughs> them in is, front of large crowds. <laughs> this is so not how it works. Yeah. But there is a kernel of it that yes. works. Yep. Kernel Positive thinking, you wanting something, mm -hmm. you envisioning it. But that that's a little component in just how you live your life. It's mm -hmm. not just sitting in your you know what place it's like? and wishing it so. It's like saying, I am going to be a bodybuilder because I drink water. Yeah. It's like, no, you... Okay. <laughs> oh, Where do I start? You you should drink water, and it will help you if you want to be a bodybuilder. But I've talked to all these bodybuilders, and the one thing they have in common is they all drank water. And they knew that if they drank water, they would be giant. They'd be giant, huge people. That's all you gotta okay. do. Okay, but did they also perform reps to failure did they also <laughs> take steroids did they also do these exercises squats deadlifts curls you know to, <laughs> did they do all that stuff too yes but that but the water why aren't you a believer th this is what it's like it's because they're saying like you no know, these people they believe that they can do these things yeah they 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 had this vision and they focused on this vision and it came to fruition yeah. okay you know what they also did they also busted their fucking ass and got lucky and were in a business or career that they had some talent in and yeah. figured out what that career is and figured out how to navigate the very <laughs> weird waters of social interaction and skill acquisition and success and failure and, and how luck. to learn from your <laughs> And luck. Yeah, that's the big problem is you're dealing with complete yeah. a, a sampling bias. You're, you're only asking people that are in the mansions. Tom Papa, how did you do it? I mean, I see you here. You have this place. It's as big as the White House. You have a, a giant lawn. Did you, did you always know this was going to be your reality? I saw it and I just put it on my vision board. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the, and the reason, and the, Obviously, it doesn't stick around. It, be, didn't, it became a fad because all these people well, at some point had to take the board down. Well, and, and unfortunately, some people died. Because they, um, there was a story I was reading about Oprah, unfortunately, where this woman had uh, terminal cancer, hey. and she she had stage three breast cancer, and just decided that through the secret she was going to imagine herself a healthy person, yeah. and then you know she eventually wound up dying from it because she she didn't get treatment. Yeah, I, I know. yeah, I know. I mean, she she stopped. Tradition. She stopped conventional medical treatment. But what part of so? How far do you go with positive thinking? Because well, I see you as a fellow that uh, has goals, and I would think positive thinking plays into your life. So. Well, it's, what does that even mean, really? Like, do I think positive? I I I think in a positive way. Mm -hmm. I try to be positive. Mm -hmm. I I try, but. When you're trying to accomplish something, whether you're trying to 
you know, get better at something, like uh, say if you're playing a game, like what if, you, let's say golf, like say you take up golf uh -huh. and you want to be a really good golfer. Like you start thinking about golf, like how do I get better at golf? You have to learn, you have to pay attention to uh, instructional videos, you have to maybe seek out coaching, you have to play some games and lose, you have to choke under pressure, you have to examine the mental game. Like what is wrong with my mental process when I approach a shot? What mm -hmm. is wrong with this? What is wrong with that? And then become obsessed with the the idea of succeeding in that. Yeah. And I think that, that can apply to everything. So yeah, yeah I mean, I certainly believe in positive thinking, yeah. but this, that was like mystic nonsense. No, that tips over and it discounts all the other stuff that yeah. you have to do. Yeah. There's something to the law of attraction, it is, but it is one component to this gigantic sort of spectrum of factors that have to be taken into consideration when you're trying to succeed at something. Yeah. Positive thinking is one of them, yeah. but it's also the understanding of how to eliminate laziness, how to discipline yourself, how to write down goals, mm -hmm. how to how to make incremental steps towards improvement, how to recognize failure is not just the end of all your hard work, but in fact the beginning of a new breakthrough because you understand like how to never do this wrong wrong the wrong way again, yeah. and the consequences of doing things wrong. It's like there's a lot of yeah, it's a lot of factors in getting better and succeeding at things yeah and it's they boiled it down to the easiest one which is dreaming right right exactly <laughs> just and just... that's why it's sold but oprah sold it i mean she was yeah she was one of the big ones man she and was she all was in. she was fucking 50 years old at the time i mean this is not a young woman who is selling this how old is oprah now 75 89 <laughs> no she just ran a marathon in four hours did she really? She's 67? 63. So she ran a marathon? Yeah, so let's let's think of when the secret came out. I want to say that was like 2006-ish. 2006 2004. 2006, okay. Nice. So 12 years ago she was so she was 50 years old. How the fuck did you not know <laughs> when you're 50 years old and worth a billion dollars that that's not how it works? That it's hocus pocus. Yeah, it's not hocus pocus. Yeah. And to sell that to people is crazy and that's a book that sold i think i was reading it sold somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 million copies wow is that what it says yeah jeez <clears throat> that's crazy well you want an easy way you want yeah. something that's easy everybody right. wants you're in trouble you're feeling whatever yeah. and they want something to come something come and help yeah. me i mean it's where religion comes from it's just please there's that thing right. inside of us is like oh, i, I want to believe if i believe is that enough it is a lot like that yeah there was <laughs> one of uh, trump's spiritual advisors was uh he's got some spiritual advisor some woman who was uh telling people to send her money there was uh, uh, uh send her money for january there was some so, some whole article about it but it's basically essentially the same thing it's like the idea is that what is she saying? Donald Trump's spiritual advisor, Paula White, suggests people send her their January salary or face consequences from God. <laughs> no. Is <Yes>. that true? <laughs> <laughs> She's attractive, too. It's interesting. Is that true? Yeah, look at her. Bam. I'll give you money. What do I got to do? All right, I'll what do What do I got to do, Paula? Do you, how much do you need? I don't know if that's a good picture. Maybe she just looks good when she's screaming. Yeah, she looks good. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I would love for some really. I would love for the day where there's some real powerful spiritual uh, individual who doesn't ask for money. Well, that's not <laughs> who a, doesn't, a, who a do real power, powerful or spiritual individual. That's a huckster. I know. That's what I mean. Like it would be so great if some like so you listen to some people like I watched I was doing some gig and there was this black preacher and he was out on stage and he's talking and it was like he's really entertaining. Yeah. And, he's, and he had a couple of nice things that he was saying. And then please send me your money. And it was just like, imagine if there, a guy showed up. Well, there is. Who? There's plenty of those people on Instagram. Who don't ask for dough? Yeah, they're not. They're just trying to get okay. Like Gary V, for instance. Gary V's whole thing is about hustling. Gary V is like the anti secret. He's uh -huh. anti the secret. In 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 when you look at like what Gary V does, Gary V is all about. <coughs> I was sick for several days. So I was fighting something all last week. Yeah, I got. I got the flu. I got the flu. Uh, I thought I had it. 
um, like I left here. I'm so uh, I'll, I'll, I'm diverting. But let, me, let me just get back to this Gary Vee thing. Okay. But with guys but like I, him, I do want to talk colds. I was gonna say, he sells <laughs> books, so I don't know if he's the best example. He sells books. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. but he's not asking for money. Right. Right. Okay. I mean, he's actually and True. he's actually a guy who's he's experienced some success as an entrepreneur. And right, right. I listen to people. How do I say this without being mean? There's a lot of people that are giving advice online because people react well to it because they're they're giving advice because when they give advice people respond to it and they say this is amazing and they'll You're they'll the like it and they'll they'll give them positive feedback and love but their advice is at least a certain percent of it is just nonsense. They're just talking. Right. They're just trying to say things they've heard before, or they're trying to somehow or another put together a sentence that sounds like you'll get some likes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a you lot. You just gotta of that. believe, guys. You just gotta surround yourself with positive people. See, Chris D'Elia makes fun of those people in a hilarious way. He's great at it. Is he? But yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> About comedians who do it? Oh, just not just comedians who do it, but just people who do it. Right. But here's the thing. Sometimes people will say things that, that are real and yeah. that are really inspirational. Yes. And that's great, too. It's just knowing, knowing horseshit. Yes. You got to know horseshit. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know where the horseshit is. The right. secret is horseshit. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the problem. Gary V is inspirational and motivational. I guarantee you there's a lot of people out there that have done things in their life that they might not have done because of Gary V. Because right. he's a hustler, because he's really got a lot of energy, and he's like, just fucking put down your phone, you know, go out there and get things done, sleep an hour less, sleep a fucking hour less, and he'll just tell you, like, do this, sell that, go, and he gives you practical advice about how to get started and get things done. It's like the opposite of the secret. Does That's he hold seminars? Point. I'm sure Gary does shit he's like a, that. It sounds like Tony Robbins. He, he does sort of, but he's more like. I mean, he's Tony like Robbins, a like he younger, more energetic hustler character. Crystal, Lee, what does this say? <laughs> Let's play this. Give me some volume. Hard work. Hard work. <laughs> Determination. It says you can do anything you put your mind to, except most Perse things. <laughs> Perseverance. <laughs> He's got an eagle on his shoulder. Never backing down. Never backing down. <laughs> Not stopping. <laughs> Remaining focused. <laughs> yeah. Never quitting. It's so funny. Meanwhile, he does all those things as well. This is from his last uh, special. Meanwhile, he it's works really hard. funny. The funny thing is, Chris actually does work hard. I, I literally. He's, well, yeah. That's yeah. that's the kind of yeah. I mean, Kevin Hart now has moved into that realm. Realm. He has so many people listening yeah. to him. And all of a sudden, they just, you know, he's, I love him. He's hilarious. He's a really good guy. I've known him for a long time. But now he's got so many followers, and he has so many people listening that he's starting to do that. It's He's not just <laughs> telling jokes. He's doing crunches and telling you you've got to believe. And yeah. tell, And I said to my daughter, my daughter was like, is he a comedian? She asked me. <laughs> she was showing the thing. I said, yeah, he's really funny. I said, well, but this is a different thing. I said, do you think I can make videos and just tell people to live better? That they would like that? <laughs> no, Dad. <laughs> well, I'm guilty of that, too. I've done that, too. But if I, it's just there's things that you know that you've experienced and that you've done that you want people to know about. But it's not everything I say. The problem with some well, people, it's key. all day you're inspiring people. That's all you fucking do. Right. All you do. Right. All you do is give out... Advice. advice. Yeah. That's it. What do you do? Yeah. Do you just advice give? No, That's there's it. A, there's a thing about there's a thing about Kevin. There's a thing about you that you watch somebody, they're interesting, you like them, and they're getting shit done, and you're like, I'll take advice from this guy. I'll, I'll, I'll hear what he has to say. There is that element. It's when it becomes bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. When it becomes, no, you have to listen to me because I have all the answers. Right. And God talks to me and that kind of stuff. Well, there's songs that there's love songs that you hear that hit you and you go, wow, like, why is that? Why does that resonate so, so much? Yeah. Why is that so profound? And then there's songs where you're like, shut this stupid <laughs> fucking nonsense down. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, there's this pop music, -y, plastic, yeah. hollow, empty bullshit that also has a lot of those same words in it. Right. Like, what is the and, difference? And that millions of people like. Yeah. Yeah, but they're dumb as fuck. Those well, people. that's 
<laughs> but it's the same thing. You've got all these people that are still buy into the horse shit. Yeah. There is a big herd of people out there that you can, if you just start doing, if Chris just stopping the comedian and start posting videos like that all the time. Oh, he would kick ass. He'd get followers. Well, if he really wanted to, if Dalia really wanted to be an inspirational guy, he's a handsome fella. He's got a great voice. He's got a lot of energy. Yeah. He's, he's you know, he's dynamic. He could do that. He's fit. <laughs> yeah. He could do something like that if he wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Kevin, the same thing. The thing is, though, Chris can do other things. Mm -hmm. A lot of these inspirational fucks they really can't do things. Right. They're not doing anything. Right. They're not producing any great works. Yeah. They're not. They're not doing any interesting art. They're not creating any interesting music. They're not making any funny comedy. <laughs> right. What they're doing is just trying to like. You know, there's a lot of people out there that don't think they can do it, but you can. It's in you. <laughs> it's a flower that must be watered with the love of the gods and like. Yeah. Oh, you cunts. There's so <laughs> many of them. They're overwhelming. Uh, they are. But so their business is not getting money from you necessarily. Their business is in you paying attention to them. And then as you pay attention to them and to their social media, their social media page grows. And then they can do like speeches at these. Have you seen those self-help conferences? Oh, like, yeah. Some people go on boats. They get they go, go on a cruise ship. Yeah, the Tony Robbins Everybody on a cruise stuff. ship is just giving different kinds of advice. Yeah, you speeches. Know? And everyone, get in here. We're going to have a session. And, ah. Yeah. Well, yeah. see. And, he's, you know, and it does help people. Yes. Like there are people that they do help. Help. Yes, true. Some of it works. I mean, if you're if you're lost and you're just you don't know what's going on and you've been a loser for a while and you take a couple of his tips, yeah, and you start working and writing shit down and going and have some self confidence, it can there's, help your life. But there's some of these guys that all they're doing is just trying to like figure out a way to give people advice when they've never done shit themselves. Yeah, and they're not. It's not worth listening to. Right. But yet they're there. Yeah, and they're they're but but, but is in a way, any, but is that any worse than an open micer? Right, is it? I mean, if someone no. what I want to do or, is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if someone says what I want to do is I want to become a motivational speaker, I want to really help people, I want to really touch people, but right now I kind of suck at it. It's like you don't you don't just start out as Tony Robbins. No, that's right. Yeah, you're just starting, and it's like a trainer. It's like a right. a boxing trainer's never really want to fight. It could just be like an old guy who's just. Some but, of those guys, but, most of them, in fact, are former fighters. But are they? Yeah. It's funny. You're in my car. No, no. Back up. Back up. You're not in my thoughts at all. Cause you're a hiccup. 